Okay, y'all, I am in a Globetrot mood today. We are going to be playing with a brand new character, and this is the guy that I've been wanting to play with the entire time, Timmy! Except I called him Timmy Turner, so, I mean, I don't know. I had to make it kind of unique, but we're going to be playing on... Ooh, should I play on beginner mode Globetrot? I think it'd be kind of crazy. We'll go master, make it a little bit interesting. We got Steph, Asami, and Emma. Dude, I don't think this boy is ready for this. See, the issue with Timmy playing a game like this is bro is literally handicapped, so, like... I don't know how easy it is for him to move. I mean, he clearly is walking today, so we'll, we'll give him credit where credit's due. Also, can I just say, that Statue of Liberty looks absolutely god-awful. We'll see how we fare today, though. We got a lot of taste tour last time, and we are going to get a lot of taste tour this time. We're going to be getting some Japan with some sushi. We're going to have uh, Singapore with chicken and rice again. And then we're going to have Australia with a meat pie. Uh, excuse me? We'll see how quickly we can get to this. Of course, we have to play for position, I think is what we're doing on this turn. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing what mini games come into the fold here. Hopefully, we get some pretty decent ones to start out. We're going to have some puzzle pickup right at the very beginning, which I do kind of like. But at the exact same time, I don't. We'll gladly take number one here. I'm just waiting for the me characters to come around, and they're not coming around, which is sad. So, oh, there's one right there. Perfect. We'll gladly steal first place last second. That is beautiful. Nine to eight to five. And Asami didn't even get a single one. That is very surprising. But we will gladly take our first 10 coins a glow shot. Let us relax and travel to some of our favorite countries today. I don't know how close we are to the first one uh we'll see actually on the map how close we are we are 11 spaces away g so this is gonna take a long time to get to our first one but we'll gladly move in that direction uh i think we'll just go for the just the regular surprise space and just kind of see what we go for i think i can get a pretty decent card here i would definitely want some coins but dang it it actually wouldn't be for me but it would be for steph dang so she's gonna be having literally nothing but balloon cards in her deck yeah so i'm assuming this first round is basically just gonna be a dud for everybody i don't really see a lot happening unfortunately i would be really shocked if we got a ufo literally right now but dang so she is gonna be taking five coins from asami that hurts because she got last on that mini game so she's gonna be basically having all of our coins be taken away and she's gonna be getting a solid move three card that's not bad either let's see if steph could actually uh get somewhere fairly decent uh it looks as if she's gonna be rolling a five not too bad not too bad She's going to be moving quite far away, though, so I don't know where she's going to be going in particular. She'll be, she'll be getting a train card. And then Asami on turn number four, we'll see if she's going to be rolling a two. So she could be either doing an odd job or some shopping, but she, of course, will be getting some extra coins because, of course, she is a brokey. Uh, and she will... Oh, dang. She's not going to be getting a lot, unfortunately. But, hey, she'll take it for what it's worth. We're going to be going into round two with a chip on our shoulder. We got to make sure we win these mini games, man, because if we do not, we are going to be struggling to the death. Let's see if we get something fairly decent here. We're going to be playing some Tropical Punch. Okay, so I got to be aggressive pretty much from the get-go. Uh, I'm not going to be going for Asami. Steph is going to be the person that I'm worried about the most. So we're going to be getting our first place on Tropical Punch. Very solid game by Timmy Timmy Tun. Seriously though, wouldn't it be absolutely freaking hilarious if the handicapped kid actually managed to win on Globetrot? This wouldn't even be a shot at him. It would just genuinely be impressive if he actually managed to win, but we'll have to see. Uh, we're gonna be going for the shopping. We'll see if there's anything fairly decent here for vehicle cards. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be getting anything relatively good here, but we'll see. Ooh, there is a charter which I might want to consider, but I don't think we really need that in this instance. I think the only one that's going to be only really worth it is the train card for six. I am trying to build wealth. That is really the idea on this game is to build wealth. And you already know how much wealth Timmy has. Nothing at all. So if he can get some money in this game, that would be in best interest. Uh, Asami is going to be getting a little bit of a train card in her favor. Let's see if Emma can roll some pretty decent spaces. She's kind of left behind in the dust a little bit. So let's see if she can ramp it up a little bit. She will also be going for a shopping uh, trip. We'll see if she will be getting something decent here. She will be getting a taxi card, which I don't know why she's deciding to do that right now. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, she has to do something. And she will also be going for a charter as well. So she'll be uh, playing with that in her favor too. I don't really know how smart that choice was for her to do that but of course i'm not her so i really don't know she will be rolling an eight on the hot air balloon ride and she will be missing japan and she'll be getting a move one card in the process because she cannot go onto the plane round three it is time to do something interesting here we're gonna have some pearl plunder we're gonna have a i think we're gonna have a little bit of a time lapse time here to see if timmy 
can uh can can fare with these girls. Let's go for it. And it looks as if this is going to be yet another win for Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. Hey, I'm just glad we're winning mini games now. That's a good thing for sure. If we can possibly, I don't know if we have two. We do have a two card in our deck. So if we can roll a two, that'd be, or if we can get a two, that'd be kind of nice. We'll only be going for the one, but we will be getting some surprise cards. So we'll see how, uh, how this fares. I'm not too sure what we're going to be possibly going for, but I would gladly take some coins if we can. Ooh. Actually, this could be interesting depending on if I get to where Steph is. That would be in best interest. We'll see if I actually move up a little bit. That would be kind of nice. I don't know. Aw, oh, dang. So, I'm going to be moving backwards. Emma is going to be moving to where Steph was. And, wow, this is actually super interesting. So, Asami basically didn't move, which is crazy. But, I guess we'll take that for what it is. We're going to be struggling a little bit to the death right now with trying to move spaces. There's not really much we can do, you know, it's going to be a bit of a pain at the very beginning. And this was to be expected. We literally didn't get a single souvenir photo until round eight when we played Globetrot the last time as Manly Man. So I, I, it could very well be the exact same deal here. Uh, I'm really not too sure. Emma will just be missing out on Singapore and she'll be getting a train card. So she might actually get it on next turn if she does have the coins necessary but of course, we do have Steph trying to go for a hot air balloon ride. And she will pull up just shy of... I think she's going to be going for Japan, yes. So she's going to be pulling up just shy. She's going to be doing a vehicle card, though. So she's going to be actually moving in the opposite direction. But she does have helicopters. So if she does win second place on the next mini game, she will be going that direction for a souvenir. But of course, we do have round four coming up. Another great mini game coming on. We do have Feathered Frenzy. Lately, I have not been doing that great on this. So we're going to see if we can finally string together a good game. Here is time for yet another time lapse. Even with the faulty IR sensor at times, I still won by a freaking mile. Timmy Timmy Turner, you are a winner. It just sucks that I'm still so far away from Japan, so I really don't have a choice. And I'm still going to get yet another one space. So, dude, I'm just going to be struggling to the death. I really don't know what to do about this right now. This is just genuinely painful. I don't really want to go for a charter because I just don't see a need for a charter right now, especially so early on in the game. When I could literally just earn my way to every single souvenir. But it looks as though I'm going to be stealing some coins from Emma. Which I think is not going to really benefit me too much. But of course it's only 5 coins. So it's not going to be anything wild. We'll gladly be up to 50 though. So we are going to be swimming. But we're going to be seeing Asami be taking another odd job. She is a brokey. And she's going to stay a brokey. But she does get a move 3 cart in the process. So that's going to be a lot of her worth right there. Now Steph does not have enough for a souvenir photo. So she will be just shy. But it looks as though yeah literally no one's going to have enough coins to really do anything. This is why winning the mini games on Globetrotter is extremely important. Because, oh, Emma got her coins back and then some, though. Dang, what a solid odd job for Emma. Plus a good, okay, move two card. Of course, we do have the coins, but we don't have the uh, the cards to show for going into round five. So we're going to continue to struggle to the death. But we do have follow your face. Can we continue the streak and win the mini games necessary? We'll see if we can. Dude. I actually lost where my me character was for a second, and I don't know how. Like, my, my brain just lost track of thought, and I just completely misguided my cup. And so, I'm now having to, like, completely look at mine again, and I, I'm glad I found mine again this time. But, dude, that was legitimately scary. I only picked the cup that was off to the side because I was like, I don't know if one of the me's would mess up. And fortunately... Uh, Asami and Emma did mess up on that one, but now we have round three. Time to focus. Oh my gosh, I actually managed to follow mine. That was one of the weirdest games because it like completely felt like it was out of place from the very beginning. But the fact that I actually managed to follow mine was beyond myself we will gladly take timmy 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 turner winning yet another mini game on follow your face that is an absolutely big w for your boy is it too much to ask for to get a pretty decent card here we'll have a three 
which is, I guess, something rather than nothing. We'll be taking an odd job, getting some more cash rolling up. We'll take it for what it's worth. Hopefully, we'll do something fairly solid here. I don't know if we're going to get anything massive, but hey, three coins and three coins. We'll take it for what it's worth. What sucks now is we are now uneven with Japan, so now we're going to have to basically rely on complete luck to really get to where we're at. But, of course, Emma will be only rolling a three. Wow, she didn't go for Japan. She had the coins, and she decided not to go get the Japan souvenir photo. That is actually really weird. We'll see what Steph does, though. I don't think she actually can go for one. I mean, if she goes in a circle, potentially, uh, but she will not. She'll also be taking an odd job. What is going on? Dude, we're going to be six rounds deep, and no one is going to have a single souvenir photo. This is actually really off-putting. I cannot lie to you. I don't know if Asami has a one card that she can pull to possibly go for one, but she does. If She needs to pull the one right now, and she will not get it. Oh, my goodness, dude. So, literally, everyone's just taking odd jobs for coins this turn. That's actually crazy. I wonder if that's going to be the strat. I really don't know what it's going to look like coming into some of the final rounds but dude i have a feeling that this is gonna literally creep up to overtime yet again 63 to 31 to 19 to 16 this is a really freaking weird game we are already over halfway through the game and no one has done anything yet which is super weird but we do have shutter pub this is gonna be yet another win for your boy which is super off-putting We'll gladly take this and run. But we did steal the very last one. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. That is round number six win. Oh my gosh, your boy is going crazy today. Once again, it sucks because we are still uneven with Japan. And even if we do go around, it's not going to matter anyway. Because if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're not going to have any opportunity to go for Japan. So we're going to have to pretty much just do a regular roll. I'm hoping for possibly a two count. Maybe that'd be kind of nice. We'll only be getting a three three cards so we'll be going for japan but we will see i don't know if i actually do want to take an airport of my choice right now i think maybe having it would be smart but i don't know if that's exactly what i want to go for right now but i think since we do have 73 coins i have to probably take the charter card just so i can use it at a moment's notice and we'll take another train card make it a little bit interesting we'll see where we're at moving forward now the strat for if no one does get japan on this turn i have to keep my one in place I will take my two card away, though. We'll see where we're at here, though. I'm essentially having to strategize the heck out of this. And Emma is still not going to be getting a single one. Oh my gosh, bro. The odd jobs are going freaking crazy right now. She's getting banked, so I respect it. But dude, literally nobody is doing anything. Let's see if Asami can turn the tide a little bit. Uh, she can go a, go for a two, and she will not be getting Singapore. Oh my gosh, dude. No one is doing anything at all. This is literally one of the weirdest games ever. Now, she is going to be getting the taxi driver, so she can basically go for Singapore on next turn if she does decide to. But even then, bro, like, even after all of that, she's not going to be doing anything notable at all. And she will be taking a six train card as well. So she's going to be stacking up to the brim, making sure she knows exactly what she's going for coming into her next couple of turns. Now, we do have Steph. She can roll the one, and she won't be going for it, which I find really weird. But she will be missing out on the five count. Oh, my gosh. Will she be going in a circle, though? She will be going in a circle for Japan. Okay, so it did manage to work out in the end for her. She will gladly be getting her sushi. That is souvenir photo number one coming in round six, fairly late into this game for the first one. So now we're going to be having to go for, I think Singapore is the one that we're going to have to try and go for. I don't know how close we are, but Steph is completely out of coins. I have a bunch left, so I do have a lot of time, but round seven is coming into the fold. We got to win this next minigame in order to really do anything. And what better way to win than with walk-off? The strategy is going to go crazy. 94 yards. Let's see if we can pull it off today. All right, we'll try right there. I think I might have slightly overshot for 94. Then again, I might have possibly counted too quickly as well. So we'll see if the luck is on our side today. Can we get walk-off 
on the line. Is today going to be the day? Okay, so we did overshoot it. But we did gladly take the win yet again. I am happy about that, genuinely. I'm so glad that we've gotten the mini games that I know for a fact that I am good at. Tippy Tippy Turner, round seven win. I just wonder if I can do anything notable here because I don't know if I can. You see, I have seven to Singapore, but that's basically it. On the map, I do have one card that I could possibly use. But for right now, I really don't know what to utilize. What sucks is a charter isn't going to help me go for Australia at all. So I really don't know what to do on this turn. I don't know if I should just get lucky. I mean, the thing is, is I know Asami is going to go for Singapore. That's going to pretty much be a given. So I, I basically have no choice but to just go train card and just go down here, really. So what are we going to be rolling on? We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to be getting a train card here, which will be kind of interesting. So we'll have another one to go off of which will be kind of nice i'm hoping that i can get another six one hey we'll gladly take yet another six that is definitely nice asami will be doing the taxi though i assume she will be it only makes sense that she's just gonna do the one gladly go for singapore and she will be getting the w hey she needs that right now she honestly does no one did anything at all in the first five rounds and she will gladly be taking souvenir photo number two coming into round number seven once again the one that i have to go for right now is australia and i'm so glad that no one's close to australia right now or else this would definitely be a game however steph could get close if she rolls a seven or an eight and she won't get close fortunately however steph will be racking up some more coins and she will be getting a fair amount of coins dang that is actually a very solid amount that is basically just paying for a souvenir photo right there with an odd job now emma is looking to be 11 away i don't know if she will be using the airport she will be in this situation uh she literally only moved one space that was one of the dumbest things that she could have done in that situation i am one coin off the funny number coming into round number eight we will be getting yet another mini game that i know for a clear cut fact that i'm gonna be winning at timmy timmy turner round eight win coming in with yet another time lapse We will gladly take Space Brawl. Timmy Timmy Turner, you are a baller. Honestly, though, I am beside myself on the fact that we've literally managed to pull this off. I honestly don't know how we've managed to do it, but we managed to. Uh, I don't know if I should use the one and three. I really have no idea, but I want to get as close to Australia as possible. So we'll gladly take our train card going down the way. Uh, we're going to be going on to, oh gosh, a 1v3 minigame. We don't usually get these on Globetrot, so I will gladly go for a 1v3, make this one a little bit more interesting, and we'll be getting 15 coins if we win, so this is going to be weird. What more interesting way to win a 1v3 on Globetrot than with Hide and Peek? I really do not know. I have not been winning this game much at all lately, so this could be the turning tide for whether or not uh, more people gain coins and whatever. So I just need to make sure that I find them as soon as I possibly can. I'm going to go for the noodle slide first and foremost. If they're going to all three be here, I'm going to literally cry. Dang it. All right. So that's going to be out of the way. I'm going to actually go for the boat this time. No one's in the boat. We'll see if anyone's on the plane. See if they're going to get a couple off. We're going to get a Sami off, which is nice. I think the safe bet is to go for the slide. Uh, usually I don't get anybody here and it's going to be the exact same thing. This is going to be the same thing. It's going to be either here or here. And I'm going to try to go for the circle. Will they both be hiding? Oh, we're going to get it. Oh my gosh. So we are going to win the necessary 1v3. Your boy, Timmy Timmy Turner is undefeated. Bro, that is so freaking satisfying. Let's go. But we will be getting a move three card in the process, which is not necessarily what I wanted. That kind of gives up a little bit of the chance to possibly get Australia. Uh, it gives myself a one in three chance to roll the one and to get the souvenir photo that we need. Uh, it just makes room for more people to get closer to me, which is not really what I want. Emma will be getting a four train card, which is not too bad. Asami is also fairly far away, but she can get Australia on this turn. I didn't even realize that she had enough spaces, dude. That is so freaking trash, bro. After all of that move, to try and get to our meat pie pause asami god before i did hey she was desperate before i'll give her credit but dang that sucks bro that is two souvenir photos down for asami 
and man, this game definitely just took a turn for sure. But Partyville, of course, will be announcing the next hotspots, and we will have shopping trip involved. We'll have a tea set for Germany. We're gonna have Morocco with a pair of slippers. That's kind of nice, and then we're gonna have Egypt with some perfume. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know how close we are to any of those, but it seems as though we're gonna be fairly far away from everything right now. So it looks as though the charter is gonna be uh, in my best interest to go for. I do still have the charter card to use, so I think that's gonna be in best interest. This is not what I need right now, bro. Dude, I have 93 coins, and now everyone is going to have 37. That is one of the dumbest things that Steph could have rolled on, bro. Now this game is gonna be boiling down to literally the last freaking thing. Now, the fortunate part is I can pick the minigame, and I think to play it safe, a part of me does wanna go for hammerheads because I could accidentally fail on stopwatcher. So so I think Hammerheads is going to be the safe bet to win round nine minigame. We got to go for this, man. It is now time for yet another time lapse. Dude, we managed to tie with Steph, bro. We did not get a lot of them in our favor. Can we get the dice roll and win round nine? Can we pull off? Yes! So we will gladly take the round nine win. Timmy, Timmy Turner, you are a baller! Seriously though, the clutch to win these mini games is literally insane. We are 17 spots away from Egypt. We're gonna go on the map real quickly and actually see where uh, a little bit of this is gonna be located at. So if we go to Egypt real quickly, how close are we to really anything on the map here with a plane? Ooh, that's actually not too bad. So if we were to go on a plane here, we would be fairly close to Germany, which I think is something that we might want to go for. I think we honestly have to take advantage of going to this airport right here. We'll figure out where that is here in a second, but we'll gladly take the charter, get ourselves fairly close to there, and we'll see where we're at. I think it's going to be Finland. Yeah, so we're going to be going to Finland, and we'll be right near every single hotspot. Shout out to the Charter card for really making a difference, dude, because if we did not have that, I really don't know where we'd be at. The good part is now we have a one in two chance in getting to Germany on this next turn, which is an absolute steal. So we'll gladly take it. In the meantime, it seems as though Steph is just going to be playing some safe bets with doing some surprise cards. No, dude. You gotta be freaking kidding me, dude. If they all gather at MySpace, I'm gonna cry. Oh my freaking gosh. So the charter card was literally for nothing, dude. That was one of the dumbest things that could have happened, bro. I am so freaking mad right now, dude. And now we are 13, 12, and 15 spaces away from literally everything. All of my main cards are gone, but... This could be a big deal, though. If she goes to the seaport, there is an opportunity to where she could get possibly close to a couple of these cards. But I don't know how close she's going to really get. Asami's coming up next. We'll see if she has anything notable. She does have the hot air balloon ride, which if she does roll an 8 here, would be extremely notable. A seven's pretty decent also. So she will be getting fairly close to one of these cards. She could actually possibly get it on this next turn. If she does get it and a vehicle card could very well set her apart as well even a charter could be decent here too even a helicopter doing so she's gonna be playing it right into her hands literally right now this is crazy dude dude this is actually tough bro asami is actually pulling in clutch with making sure that she gets every single card imaginable she is making sure that she plays everything completely safe, dude. This is now a different game, dude. Asami actually has, like, the biggest advantage right now. I have nothing to show for it. Emma has just sucked all the way across the board, and Steph is still relatively a threat. Cosmic Capers is going to be the next minigame. Dude, round 10 win for Timmy Timmy Turner. This is absolutely crazy. The fact that we have gotten all of the mini games that we have won is simply insane. I really don't know what to say about that, but dude, we will take that for what it's worth, bro. We will gladly take round 10 win on Cosmic Capers. Asami did get second place, so she is going to be a threat right after I do my card. But Timmy Timmy Turner, you are a baller. Once again, this sucks because I really have nothing to show for this at all, but I guess if we want to possibly get an opportunity to do anything i don't know what the train card could possibly pull up but we're gonna have one two three four five six we could possibly land on a surprise space and get something decent but i'm not really banking off of it we're gonna try and do the train card just see where we're at dude i gotta use it at some point i am genuinely desperate 
So we'll see where we're located at. But hey, this is going to really be... Oh, we're going to get a train card instead. Okay, so I completely miscalculated that judgment. That was crazy. But we will get a five train card. I wanted a six one so we could possibly guarantee ourselves. But unfortunately... We're not going to get that. But it seems as though Asami is going to be getting Morocco, dude. So she is going to be literally playing this into her hands, bro. This is absolutely terrible, bro. You guys know how I said that winning mini games is the factor for winning this game? I take every bit of what I just said of that completely back. Literally, it makes absolutely zero difference what you do. Even if you win mini games, it makes literally zero difference. The good part about this is Steph does have a fair amount of coins, but even then, I'm still going to be losing coins, and Asami is literally going to get rich again, bro. This is freaking terrible, dude. Now, Emma is still fairly far away, but she does have a helicopter card now, and she is literally stacking up on vehicle cards right now, so she is doing everything in her power, utilizing the advantage that she got from getting literally all of the coins that we got. So she is going to be making sure that she is going to win this game coming into overtime, bro. Golly, this is literally one of the worst games that we could have played, which is so sad. What makes it even worse is whoever lands on it's going to basically get the bonus souvenir photo. So this is basically going to be a loss for your boy, but I just want to see if we can win this last mini game. If we can, that would be kind of nice. I and mean, we will be getting quicker chippers, so we will be getting another solid mini game that I have every right reason to believe that we will win at. We'll see what we can get with another time lapse. We will be taking the win by just one ball, and we will gladly take another win. Timmy, Timmy Turner, you are a baller. It's so wild to think that with all of the game that we played, with winning every single minigame imaginable, we still aren't going to do anything, bro. It's honestly extremely depressing. We will, uh, I guess we'll just land on the airport space. There's really nothing that we can do. I mean, it's not even like we're going to be using the airport, but dude, this is just depressing, bro. We really can't do anything about this at all. All Asami needs to do is just use the train card that she got just a little bit ago, and she will be taking Germany with the T-set. She will literally be getting five souvenir photos that is one of the dumbest things to happen bro my gosh bro that is literally so freaking depressing man what a game by timmy timmy turner to literally win every single mini game but of course it doesn't matter in the end if you don't land on the souvenir photos so i think i've proved my point here that timmy timmy turner cannot win globe shot because he's handicapped seriously 